spoke this morning about how the insurance world um, has really and is really sort of changing to help a very very different sort of environment in terms of customers how they own their assets in a very different way you know gone are the days of people just owning an asset now they potentially lease an asset or they share an asset um, you know uber is the kind of the ultimate example of that um, how risk behaviors um, are, are changing and the risks that affect you know, people today are different to what it affected them 10 years ago. So, you know, take a business. You know, businesses used to be bricks and mortar. You know, many businesses today are ideas um, operating out of a shared space somewhere. So insuring against fire is not really a big issue for a lot of those companies, but insuring against cyber risk or reputational risk clearly, clearly are. And how consumers um, interact and how people interact with their service providers where, you know, gone are the days of a very sort of single sort of uh, approach to the way people interact. Now, you know, you upset someone, you know, you're not going to tell five people around the bra, you're going to tell, you know, the whole world on social media. So everything has changed and insurance companies need to keep pace with that. So I spoke earlier about what we've done as Discovery and Show, where we've created a, a product that's rich in technology, where we measure, you know, literally everything we can about a particular risk so we can take those measures and present it back to customers so they understand their risk. And the risk isn't just about whether you are young or old, male or female. Um, the risk is about, is about you know, how you behave with your assets. You know, are you a good driver or are you a bad driver? Um, and ensuring that we can first encourage people to drive well. And secondly, making sure we can charge people appropriately so that the good risk doesn't pay for the claims of the, of the poor risk, which is you know, the old concept of pooling. You know, in many instances, you know, if you can charge the right risk correctly, you know, then it, it kind of breaks the pool down into much smaller segments, which is good for you know, good customers. I spoke about the importance of customers understanding how the data can be used, um, the importance of protecting data, the importance about being very clear in your policy wording, in your documentation about the data will be used for this purpose or for that purpose and for customers to ultimately have the choice about how they want to interact with their, their provider. But a lot of it comes down to you know, the proofs in the pudding, you know, how you use it, you know, how you translate that back into, into rewards for customers if, it's, you know, if your program is meant to be sort of focusing on the positive, um, you know, which is what our program is, is about rewarding good behavior. So we pay 12 million rand a month in fuel benefits. The purpose of that is rewarding good behavior and the money doesn't go to, to poor behavior. So, but you know, ultimately it's how you act is how people will judge you um, and you get one chance to build a reputation. You can't afford to, you know, to, to, to ruin that or waste that. The African Insurance Exchange this year I think has been a, a fantastic opportunity to interact um, with the entire industry. You know, so from, from reinsurers to brokers to suppliers, you know, RT providers, I think it really sort of covers the full spectrum and I think in, in a short space of time, in two or three days, you can actually cover a lot. So I think for, for companies that aren't present here, aren't attending here, I think they're missing an opportunity to really sort of cover a lot, as I say, in a short, in a short space of time. You know, I think the, the organization's really been superb. I think it's really been very, very slick. Um, the presentations have been informative. Um, some really good panel discussions we've had um, you know, this morning. Um, and I think it's really it adds value to, to all the delegates that uh, have taken the time to be here this year.